everyone and welcome to X6 Smell Potato Kitchen! Today we're making a recipe from the potato book. I don't have it here, it's in the kitchen where it should belong to. Um, so it's called Loaded Mashed Potato Bake. So it's mashed potato that you add bacon bits, but real bacon would be even better. Green onion and cheese, obviously. So it's so cheesy, so tasty, and so good. <laughs> uh, by the way, I now have merch that says this, so go see link down below if you want to buy this. I have stickers, I have aprons! I have aprons so that you can wear an apron that says either XX Smell, um, XX Smell's Potato Kitchen or so cheesy, so tasty, so good. <laughs> so, let's get right into it, right, shall we? This is what it looked like. It's cheesy, it's packed with flavor, it's really good, and I like that. You can see the cheese bubbling. Whoa! So, the first thing you need to do is you need to boil some potato. I won't show you how to boil potato. I've shown it plenty of time. 20-30 minutes until they are soft enough to be broken with a fork. So, what you want to do for those potatoes is you want to add a good two tablespoon of butter or more depending on the amount of potato that you do i did approximately a pound of red potato cut into chunk boiled until already then here it asks for evaporated milk which i had it in but i honestly didn't notice the difference between regular milk or evaporated milk in the taste of the mashed potato so use whatever milk you like to put in the potato then you want to mash the potato with only the milk and the butter so that they get really smooth and then you can really control the texture of the potato. Once you're done mashing the potato with the milk and the butter, you want to add the spices. Here I added a little bit more milk before adding the spices just because I felt like the potato were still too chunky. Chunky is a good term, chunky. So I added a tiny bit more evaporated milk, added some green onion, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of chives, salt, pepper to taste, but a lot. And then I added maybe half a cup, approximately half a cup of cheese into the potato. And I started mashing all of this together until I get a smooth texture from all the elements combined. Here I added even more salt and pepper because I felt it needed more. And then I added the bacon bits. Mix everything together, then put that into an oven safe dish. This one is from my mom. I like it very much. And it filled pretty much this whole dish completely. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure that the potatoes are smooth. And I've put a chunk of cheese in the middle because it was a big chunk that I didn't grate because I didn't want to grate my finger. And I added the leftover cheese. So total of cheese around a cup and a half to two cup but if you're not sure just do two cup more cheese is better added more bacon bits on top a little bit more green onion and you put that in a preheated oven at 300 fahrenheit and you cook that for 15 to 20 minutes or what i did is i cooked for five minutes at 350 fahrenheit and then I wanted it to be ready, so I put it to broil for another five minutes until it was, until the cheese was all melted and golden. Like we can see right here. Look at this. This cheesy goodness. It was creamy, it was salty because of the bacon bits, it was full of flavor. Those are the loaded mashed potato bake really good i put that in two lunches so it was good in the microwave after it's good to know sometimes so that's today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh it was really fun to make it was really easy it was not quick but it was easy because you have to boil the potato for like 20 30 minutes and then you put that into the oven for another 5 15 ish minute until everything is ready 
but it was good. It was a good meal. I would do that when I would receive people over to be like, look at those fancy mashed potato. Like you want to show off or something. But for a regular night day, I just want quick potato. Um, I would just add the green onion, cheese and bacon in the potato and serve that uh, like that. Like just put it on top and serve the potato like this and not put it into the oven and bake it again. But if you want to make something fancy for someone nice, that is that is something good that you can do. So, if you really like those kind of potato, leave a subscribe. Follow me on other platform if you wish. And until then, I will see you guys next week for another another potato video. Yes, three potato video in a row. I'm on fire. <laughs> so until then, I will see you guys next week. And love you guys. Keep watching, share, like, comment. I love reading all of your comments and I answer to every single one of them. So make sure to leave a comment. I will answer and I will be happy to find something to answer. And if you want to chat even more with me, join my Discord. See you later. Bye bye.